while everyone is in an uproar about who can bleed and who can't, men have become so obsessed with women that they want to turn into one. And I find it quite flattering that womanhood seems so great to you guys. Y'all know me. You may not like what I got to say, but I'm going to say it anyways. In recent conversation, there has been a lot of uproar between trans women and real women. In my opinion, I think the most misogynistic thing that a man can do is reject his biology as a man and go into women dominated spaces telling other women how he's a better woman than them because it's based off of his feelings of how he perceives a woman to be while walking in society emulated what he believes a woman looks like by replicating other women when we're discussing womanhood i cannot go to another woman and ask her what it feels like to be a woman because being a woman is not a feeling however being a woman i absolutely am subjected to my reproductive organs that identify me as a woman and saying that doesn't mean that i'm less than a woman it just means that that is the beginning of my woman origin and my woman experience and for the women who can't have a baby we still recognize those women as women because they do have the reproductive organs to do so however we also understand that something is medically wrong with them i will give credence to the fact that women are not the only people who have a period if we're identifying them that way because non-binary people or trans men actually can also have a period but at the basis of it we call those biological women however when you're talking about trans women we understand that that is something that biologically impossible you cannot do the power struggle here that comes into play is when there is a very small minority of people imposing onto a larger group of people that are telling them what they would like to be called how they would like to be treated how they would like to be pronounced and how they would like to be identified but then you're imposing terminology onto them that they have yet to accept so i must appease your feelings calling you by the pronouns that you identify with as because you have chosen make this decision about putting on a wig and putting on nails and putting on a dress however when i tell you i reject terms like birthing person or breastfeeder or real woman or biological woman or cisgendered woman at this point then i should just understand and accept it because science says so but science also says that the basis of your dna you are biologically a male so why are we not listening to science all the way across the board seems a little hypocritical to me and since everyone has such an issue with understanding just hilarious let me go ahead and put my cape on because i think i can break it down for you a little bit more it's very disingenuous for you to overshadow that woman's feelings in regards to her womanhood when she actually has given birth to a baby which biologically that does make her a woman however you decided to discuss her looks and says that she looks like a trans person while you're also attempting to advocate for trans people it's giving inherent transphobia also, to resurface the interview where she's relaying her experience of a man DMing her thinking that she was a trans woman to have sex with her probably offended her because she's an actual woman and should be more of a slight to trans people considering the fact that that person has a fetish and just wanted to sexualize you and use you as an inanimate object. As a black woman, we have to be extremely mindful of how we attach ourselves to other intersectional groups when it comes to their issues because we're always the first to remind people nobody respects us and nobody protects us, but we're the first to jump into the line of fire when other people need a defense so here's a few things to remember when you're talking allyship they're always present when it's time to give the tea or bad heterosexual meaning and amplify any bad experience that we've had in regards to our relationship issues but anytime it's time to help these children and provide for them or be a better role model or even your protection they are nowhere to be found not saying that there is an agenda but i will say for a very small group of people who seem to not have any effect on anybody when their issues come up in conversation they're making a huge ruckus and their representation comes at the basis of overshadowing other marginalized people